Okay, here is where we finally start to do something interesting. Um, here is where the program actually starts to look like something that we can use. So here's the program, these are instructions. We're gonna run through how it works. So <clears throat> the first instruction, I, I'll, I'll run through the slides first and then I'll do, I'll do the, the drawing thing, the visualizing thing. Well, let's do let's do the let's do the slides first. So, the computer sees an equal sign. It knows we're putting something into a variable called message one. It then looks to the right of the equal sign and sees input. It knows we're getting a person's input. It looks inside the brackets and finds the words "Hi there, what's your name?" It displays these words in a black box. <coughs> excuse me, and waits for the person's reply. And that's. That's what comes up at the at the beginning. Hi there, what's your name? In the first after this first instruction, you get this in the black box. <clears throat> in the second instruction, when the person replies and presses enter, the answer is put into message one as a word. In the second instruction, the computer sees the equal sign and looks to the right of it. It sees that we want to add to the, the words nice to meet you and the words inside message one together. It does that. So if I wrote Mr. Chan um, and pressed enter in the first instruction here, what would happen is nice to meet you and Mr. Chan, the, uh, those words would be put together and put inside message two. In my case, since I entered Mr. Chan, the words inside message two, ends up being nice to meet you Mr. Chan because it has combined nice to meet you with message one. It then displays whatever is inside message two. So it displays nice to meet you Mr. Chan in my case. That's exactly what I just said, basically. So that's what that's what's um that's that's what's written um after after instruction three is finished in the black box. What what's displayed. So in the fourth instruction, the computer sees the equal sign, then looks to the right of it, sees input again. So it knows we're getting an answer from a person. It displays the words, how old are you? And waits for the reply. In my case, I wrote 28. So the, per the, so the computer takes this word and puts it inside the variable message three. Remember, anything that the person answers with in an input comes back as words or a word. So like, so this is what you'll see after that. In the fifth, so if you're getting lost right now, I'm going to run through it in the, in, uh, I'm going to draw, yeah, I'm going to draw it and make it clear exactly what happens, but um, just bear with me if, uh, if it's not clear to you at this moment. Um, in the fifth instruction, it sees the equal sign and knows we're putting something into a variable named message four. It looks to the right of the equal sign and sees a minus sign and knows that we're subtracting two numbers. It sees int and knows we're converting a word into a number. It looks inside the brackets and notices that it needs to convert the word inside message three into a number. Um, in my case, I wrote 28. So the computer converts 28, the word, into 28, the number. It then does um, 20, uh, 2020 minus 28 and puts the result 1992 into the variable message four. In the sixth instruction, it is combining two words, but remember what is inside message four at this point is a number. So stir message four takes a number, in my case 1992, and converts it into a word 1992. It then combines so you were born in with the word inside message four, in my case, 1992. If we try to combine a word and a number, the computer will freak out and the program won't work. This is why we need the functions stir and int. In the final instruction, we take so you were born in 1992 and displays it on the screen. Yeah. So if you're confused, I'm just going to run through that. Um, run through the program. Um, one step by step. This is so if you if you didn't know I didn't understand what I was talking about for like the last five minutes or so. What I mean, sorry, a few minutes. This is when you should listen because I'm going to explain it very very in depth now. So 
Computer doesn't know anything, looks at the first instruction, sees the equal sign, knows we're putting something inside message one, a variable, it looks to the right, sees the input. So it knows we're, we're, um, we're getting a person's input. Um, it looks inside the brackets and finds the question, hi there, what's your name? And um, it puts it inside the black box. So what appears is what's uh, hi there, what's your name? Um, and then the computer is waiting for the person's response here. So when the person responds, say I write Mr. Chan, and then I press enter, um, the computer takes um, whatever the person's answer is and puts it inside message one. So it, ta it takes message one and puts it inside message. Uh, it takes uh, the words Mr. Chan in my case and puts it inside message one. And remember, whatever comes, whatever, um, whatever the person writes and answers, when it's put inside um, the variable, it's always a word. It's always words. So, um, in the second uh, second um, instruction, you see equal sign. It knows we're putting something inside message two. It looks to the right, sees the words "nice to meet you," and looks and sees the plus sign. So it knows we're uh, and then it looks inside message one, it sees the words Mr. Chan, so it's adding two, uh, it's um, plusing two words together, so then it, we get, since this is um, Mr. Chan in my case, you end up with um, nice to meet you. Mr. Chan. Um, in the third um, instruction, it displays it on the screen, um, displays whatever is inside message two on the screen. So what's inside message two right now is nice to meet you, Mr. Chan. So then it displays it in the black box. Okay. So in the fourth instruction, we see equal sign. We know we're putting something inside message three. It looks to the right and it sees input. Okay, so it knows that it's going to be us. Um, it's going to be getting a person's input. Looks inside the brackets to look for the question. It finds how old are you, and it displays it. Um, in my case, I'm going to write. Um, so a person answers the question. So I write 28, and then I press enter. So the computer stops waiting. Once I press enter, it takes. Um, whatever the person's answer is, turns it into a word and puts it inside um, the variable. So in this case, um, message three will have the word 28 inside it. Okay. So then in the fifth um, instruction, we see the equal sign. We know we're putting something inside message four. We look to the right, um, we see 2020, the number, minus int. So then the computer knows we're converting a word into a number. So it looks inside the brackets to find what we're converting into a number, and it sees message three. So it looks inside message three, and it sees 28, the word. So it converts 28, the word, into 28, the number. So That goes from 28, the word, um, into uh, 28, the number. So 20, 2020 minus 28, you get 90.92. So um, inside message four, we get 90.92, the number. So then in the sixth instruction, we have the equal sign. So we know we're putting in something inside a variable message five. We look to the right, we see the plus sign, we see uh, the word so you're born in, and we see stir. Um, stir means that we're converting a, um, a number into a word. So it looks inside the brackets and it sees message four. It looks inside message four and it sees 9092. So it converts um, the number 9092 into the word 9092.
So now we're com uh, combining we're, we're combining two words. So so you were born in, in 1992. So what's put inside message message four message five is um, so you were born in 1992. And then finally, in the in the seventh instruction, it says uh, print, so it knows the computer knows we're just dis we're going to put the display something on the blank in the black box. Looks inside the brackets and sees uh, message five. It looks inside message five and it sees so you were born in 1992. So then it displays it. So you were born in 1992. And then that's the end of the program. So if we were to look inside, um, if we were to if we were to run the program, that would be exactly what you see. So I have to change a few things, but oh man, because of the apostrophes. But you get what I mean. There's so many apostrophes. Okay, so, hi there, what's your name? Mr. Chan, nice to meet you, Mr. Chan. How old are you? 28, so you were born in 1992. So you see how it almost, it almost feels like a person is talking to you. So this program is starting to seem like something useful to a person almost, like something something that you could actually use. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's it for today. Um, I mean, for this lesson. Uh, thanks for listening.